गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे माई चैप्टर रिलेटेड टॉपिक स्पोर्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन चैप्टर नंबर टू दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम यूनिट फर्स्ट एंड बोर्ड एग्जाम द रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बैलेंस डाइट न्यूट्रिशंस मैक्रो न्यूट्रिशंस माइक्रो न्यूट्रिशंस nutritive and non nutritive component of the diet eating for the weight control a healthy weight weight for our dieting full interest lines and food mess the related exam is very important and can come the sports nutrition its effect of performance fruit and meal intake pairing pre and during and post food supplement uh, supplement for the children but first point related to the this chapter the balanced diet balanced diet is very important our uh, definition ke liye bhi bahut jyada jo hai exam mein aane ki sambhavna hai so introduce uh, first uh, uh, no doubt that the everyone want to remain fit and healthy food and nutrition play a very vital role in our growth and development these are helpful are uh, maintaining good health the requirement of nutrition is essential for every individual but it is a, it is principle of the individual indi, individual who actively participate in the games and sports with the help of the appropriate nutrition a sports person can enhance their performance even some supplement are also essential to provide proper nutrition to sports these are nutritions for the sports and nutrition math uh, sports and nutrition next point meaning of balanced diet meaning of the balanced diet what is a balanced diet balanced diet ko hum samajhte hain a balanced diet refer to the intake of edibles which can provide all the essential food constitutes necessary for the growth and maintenance of the body in definite amount in which they are required by the body a balanced diet means eating the right amount of food from all food groups definitions a diet which consists of all the essentials food constitute protein carbohydrate fat vitamins minerals and water in correct proportions is called as a balanced diet essential foods protein carbohydrate fat vitamins minerals water and correct and correct proportions is called a balanced diet in other word balanced diet is that diet which consists of various constitute of food in accurate and appropriate quantity and qualities
according to according to the requirement of an essential individuals in fact every individual does not require some type of diet the diet differs from individuals to individuals to individuals the following sum up a balanced diet a balanced diet must contain all the essential constitute in adequate amount number 2 points there must be define proportions between the different constituents constitute of foods number third point the food should be easily digestible number four point cooking food cooking of food is necessary because it sterilizes food steps and make it plain table and easily digestible these are following points sum up is the balanced diet next point next point is very important for the exam number 2 nutrition Uh, there are the two types of the nutrition: macro nutrition, micro nutrition, macro and micro. But first, I will understand for related what is the nutrition. Nutrition. Every individual in this world want to lead a healthy life. food is the main basis for maintaining health so the knowledge of food and nutrition is essential for every individual generally food and nutrition are considered synonyms with one other when actually it is not show sure. in fact food comprises all those substance that human beings consume for their survival food is a fix mixture of various substance which are essential for life whereas nutrition is a dynamic process which comprises consumption 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 for food and remains to remains healthy in fact nutrition is a essentially the process of nourishing or being nourished the process by which is the living organism uh, assimilates assimilates food and use it for growth and replenishment of tissues is called nutrition nutrition is defined as the science of food and is it relationship with the health in other word in other word it can be said that nutrition is the science of food which comprises by the dynamic processes in which are consumed food is the digestive nutrients are absorbed and dis uh distributed to the to the tissues for utilization and water are disposed of the body nutrition macro nutrition and macronutrients macronutrients 
macronutrients number one proteins fats water macronutrients there are the four types there are the four types carbohydrate protein fat and water sometimes can can come in the carbohydrate definitions protein fat and water in the exam is very important to what is a carbohydrate फर्स्ट हम मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय को समझेंगे वॉट इज अ मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय कंस्टिट्यूट द मेजोरिटी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल डाइट हैज इट कैन सेट दट they are taken in large amount they supply energy and are needed for growth and maintenance of the body they include carbohydrates proteins fat water the explanations of these macronutrients is given below carbohydrate protein fat and water is very important is a carbohydrate for exam and protein and fat and water for carbohydrate very important carbohydrate are the most most important source of the energies they contain the element of carbo hydrogen and oxygen carbo hydrogen and oxygen the every first part of the name is the carbo carbo means that they contain carbon the second part of the hydro h2 hydro hydro uh the second part of name the hydro means that they certain hydrogen the third part of the name act oxygen o2 means that they contain oxygen in all carbon hydrate carbon hydrate the ratio of hydrogen atom to the oxygen atom is a two ratio one just like water as two carbohydrate are actual the organic components that are important for different digestive 
operations in out body there are a lot of the differences between carbohydrate and the other elements important for the nutrition such as the protein and fat generally it is seen that a diet rich in carbohydrate needs less amount of water in comparison to diet in proteins diet in protein and fats there are two main type of the carbohydrate simple carbohydrate and complex carbohydrate glucose fructose galactose sucrose maltose and lactose are called the simple carbohydrate these carbohydrate are soluble in water there are the crystalline there are sweet in test and are called sugar starch dextrinases glucose and cellulose cellulose are called complex carbohydrate or polysaccharides they are not sweet in taste they are insoluble in water they are not crystalline the main difference between the type of the carbohydrate is actually the difference between their chemicals compositions simple carbohydrate are a smaller chain for the chemical compositions in compression to the complex one number 2 number 2 is a protein the second point is the protein what is the protein protein contains carbohydrate uh, carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and some time sulfur protein contain carbon number 1 oxygen oxygen hydrogen 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 nitrogen and sulfur do five items contain in the proteins protein are very large molecules molecules so they cannot be directly observed into our blood so they are turned into amino acid by other digestive systems there are 23 amino acid out of these nine amino acid must be available in the diet these amino acid are used by the body of the created blood muscles nails skin hair and tissue in internal organs protein from new tissues repair the broken tissue regularly balance of water and acids transport oxygen and nutrition and make antibodies excessive use of the protein in direct especially 
Animal protein can result in heart disease, osteoporosis, stocks and kidney stones. Body require only 0.36 gram for a protein per pound of the idea body weight. If protein are not taken in appropriate amount in diet, then we may suffer from deficiencies disease. Marasmus and the causes are protein deficiency disease in children. Number third point, fat. Fat is very important. Fat भी कई बार exam आ जाता है. Fat के बारे में पूछ लेंगे कि क्या है fat? What is the fat? Fat contain carbon, hydrogen. Uh, fat contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Fat contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in percentage of the seventy six. Seventy six is the carbon. Twelve is the oxygen percentage, and twelve is the hydrogen percentage. Total hundred percent, seventy six. Uh, in the fat, there contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In the carbon percentage is the in the fat seventy six, and hydrogen is the twelve, and oxygen. Is it twelve, respectively? Fat are necessary for many body, many body functions. Fat keeps us warm and protect our organs. Fat also help in the productions of hormones. Fat can be classified according to the Structures. Different type of the fat have different characteristics, and they re uh, react in different way inside the body. There are three different group of fat in diet. The three different fat in diet. That is the saturated fat, polysaturated fat, and monounsaturated fat. Intake the saturated fat increase the chance of heart disease due to the increase of cholesterol in the blood. Such fat are found in fast foods, pastries, biscuits. They poly Unsaturated fat and monounsaturated fat help in the lowering the blood cholesterol. The polyunsaturated fat are slightly better than monounsaturated. Monounsaturated fat. Fat are essential in the diet, but the quantity of intake should be limited. The next point. And last point is the water in macronutrients. Today, my topic is the macronutrients. Next term, I will teach the micronutrient 
in the nutrients okay the last point in nutrition water water is very important water is a compound which is made hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen hydrogen and oxygen ratio is it 2 ratio 1 which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen element in the ratio 2 ratio 1 our blood also contain 90% of the water blood contain is 90% water water help in the transportation of nutrients to the cell of body it is also important for the excretions of waste product it also regulated the body temperatures it is vital for the various chemical reactions taking place in our bodies it is essential for the body metabolism water must be taken in the large quantity therefore it can be considered a part of macronutrients so uh, the topic is a macronutrients the first point of the nutrition and second point I will teach in the next terms so my topic is complete meaning of balanced diet meaning of nutrition and micronutrients main okay today my topic ये आप लोग जो है तैयार कर लेंगे और एग्जाम में भी इसमें से कुछ एक पॉइंट या दो पॉइंट एग्जाम में आ सकते हैं ओके समय हमारे पास कम है पेपर हम लोगों के आने वाले हैं यूनिट टेस्ट फॉर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द यूनिट फर्स्ट एग्जाम ओके मैक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिशंस बैलेंस डाइट and this topic is very important in the exam so thank you very much student today my topic is complete and you know that the syllabus is in unit 1 and unit 2 and the questions will be here and the questions will be here and the questions will be here I will give you some questions related for the topic of sports and nutrition and nutrition and the balance diet 1 and 2 questions in assignment, what is the balanced diet, define balanced diet, what is the nutrition, meaning of nutrition, meaning of the balanced diet, define the nutrition and define the macronutrient. Uh, sometime will come exam in the uh, topic is 5 marks, macronutrients. Macronutrients uh, give the 4 contains in the carbohydrate, protein, fat and water. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, thank you very much and God bless you student. नेक्स्ट टाइम में फिर मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के साथ